Hello and welcome back beautiful blooms. I'm Galaginia and I've got no spoons this week. So let's just chill together while I work on this week's practice sketch. So I contemplated actually putting this video off and having the community post take care of it, but I already had the sketch footage on hand and I realized that this is week six of me teaching myself how to draw, which means I've been at it for a month already over a month already actually and i'm happy to say that i'm in that mode where i don't want to break the chain so to speak so instead of the bigger script i originally had in mind i kind of just want to touch base with how i'm feeling about the journey so far which trust me at one sketch a week that's literally six sketches technically seven because i'm a couple weeks ahead of videos precisely for this reason so it's not like there's a lot to go off of in terms of actual pieces and progress but as silly as it may seem to say I'm already like really proud of my progress so far and hilarious enough my favorite sketch so far is actually gonna be this one for next week's video and that's really funny to me because I basically took an AI photo that fooled me when I was scrolling through Pinterest and turned it into something original which will be the topic of that video because AI art on Pinterest has been abysmal Anyway, I'm just really happy that I'm already at the point that I can take an image, pinpoint what's wrong with it, and then look up multiple references to make something original. Because everything up until that sketch for next week's video has been reference studies. Which I'm still going to do those because I know I have a long way to go, so don't worry, those aren't going away anytime soon. This week's sketch was actually this screenshot of the bakery I built for my friend's free company, Final Fantasy XIV. So if you want to go back and watch that build in full, I'll leave a link in the description and the video's end card. I still need to really work on my angles and the sketch really shows that, so I'll probably keep grabbing references that challenges what angles I draw. Now I am noticing though that there are beginnings of a style forming. I think because at this point I've drawn references from video games, anime, and real life references, and they're all surprisingly consistent style-wise despite that, which I didn't feel that way when I was first drawing them, especially the whole way I attempted to color in week two. But going back and flipping through the pages in my sketchbook, I'm actually seeing the similarities now. Maybe it's too early to say such a thing, but I do know from my experience with writing, which writing's been a hobby for me for almost three decades at this point. <laughs> I can pick up notebooks that contain stories I wrote in elementary school, and I can pick out remnants of my current writing style today that was blossoming then. So. I'm excited. I'm excited to see that something of a style is beginning to form. I have no idea what that style will transform into the more I practice, but that's half the fun of picking up a new skill, right? I'm also already in that phase where I'm consistently wanting to draw for more than an hour. Like it takes me a bit to get started, but once I actually pick up my pencil and get going, I kind of don't really want to stop. So I'm going to start letting myself draw for longer sessions when I have the spoons and the desires there. You might have already noticed I retired using the timer as my stinger screen after my introduction, and that's part of the reason why. That and I think it might have actually scared away new viewers because they click on a video thinking it will be 12 minutes that popped up, and then they're like, oh my god, an hour? I'm Zyna! for an hour from this person I don't know. As for things happening off screen, y'all have been absolutely amazing with your support. I've had art exercises and advice and references sent my way and I'm carving out some time to work with all those and I cannot thank you all enough for the help. It means a lot. I'm currently trying to learn some new pencil grips so that I'm not worsening a permanent callus I have on my middle finger. Don't worry, I'm not going to flip off the camera to show it to you. I'm also trying to draw more with my shoulder rather than my wrist and I did admit my hands have felt a lot better since I've started doing that and I'm still doing my stretches with them too, so don't worry. I'm trying my best to make sure I don't get carpal tunnel down the road. 30 years of writing hasn't done it. I'm going to make sure a month of drawing won't either. And then on top of that, overall, my lines are getting straighter by relying on my shoulder more and some of the exercises I've been doing in my free time. <laughs> Thank you. You know who you are for giving me that particular exercise. One point of frustration I'm consistently running into with every piece so far is often I do want to actually just blob in some shapes and then try shading to give them details. Like if you notice in some of the recordings, if you see my hand is just kind of sitting there, that's literally usually me 
staring at my reference and then the paper and going, I know what the shape is supposed to look like, but I can't figure out the outline for it for some reason and it bothers me. That and I want to start drawing some more cute animals and creatures in my scenes that I'm drawing. So yeah, <laughs> lots of goals to work with, but I am excited to tackle them. I'm looking forward to it. Now, channel wise, next week, like I said, I'm going to be talking about AI art and Pinterest and why the platform is just a game of attrition at this point, and that's disappointing. But the week after that, I'm gonna hopefully be going behind the scenes of what it's like to run a small YouTube channel, which was supposed to be this week, but then my spoons all decided to sprout legs and run away from me. <laughs> I've mentioned before before I wanted to talk about how so much advice on this platform just doesn't work for smaller channels or straight up garbage. And I was going to wait until I was a bigger channel to do that. But you all reminded me, a friend in particular reminded me that I don't have to do that. I can and should talk about those things now while I can. So that's happening. Like I said, not next week, but the week after next, assuming things go to plan, go according to plan. We'll see. <laughs> All according to Kekaku. <laughs> it might not happen, but that is my current goal. I'm also really experimenting with thumbnail styles, and this time I am talking about these. Again, I'll talk about this more in the YouTube video, but for those of you watching that's either a small YouTuber or you're thinking of starting a channel, or maybe you're just interested in how the platform works for the people you watch, whether or not you get views is completely reliant on your titles and thus your video topic and your thumbnails. And I have noticed I'm slowly entering my three digit view phase on this channel because I have a running theory. I have a running theory that most channels have their phases. You have your single digit view phase, your double digit view phase, your three digit, so on and so forth. Obviously, you can sometimes skip those phases, but most channels, most people they go through those phases because I've been on and off YouTube since 2011. And while I don't have like big swaths of data, I do think it's kind of interesting that literally 13 years later, I'm noticing similar patterns during the starting process. So I'm pretty confident in this phase theory. Anyway, I think I'm entering my three digit few days on this channel. And a big part of that is opting for bright, almost retro kind of thumbnails. You might have noticed that my thumbnails now are different from the ones I first premiered these videos with. Like if you look here, these two videos are like half the viewership of the rest of them. And I think my thumbnails are a big reason why, because the topics get scores of 100 in my research tools. So the interest is there. I'm not packaging them correctly. So if you see my thumbnails changing a lot, then don't worry, it's all part of the process. But for now, that's it for this week, a bit of a shorter video. And I'm glad I opted for something more chill and short because it, it feels nice. And I can't really sit here and tell you all to take care of yourselves and follow your spoons if I don't do the same for myself. So here we are, I'm trying practice what I preach. But anyway, how's your week? I hope you all either got done what you need to get done or you were able to hunker down and wait for your own spins to come home. Anyway, as always, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, see you then.